This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to show you how to supercharge your Gmails using Google Docs. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it, follow me. Let's get started. This is a relatively new feature in Google Docs since I've been writing about it uh, over the past 10 years. It's basically it lets you compose email in Google Docs. So go to Google Docs, make sure that your Gmail program is open in another tab so you're logged into it. Go to Google Docs, click blank. And then at the very top, you'll see email draft. And what will happen is you'll be, first of all, you'd be prompted to type in an email address of somebody. So let's say that I'm going to send this to Nicole. And the subject is uh, review new marketing copy, new marketing copy. And then I have some text. I'm just going to paste it in. And one of the advantages, there's a couple advantages to composing uh, your Gmail in Google Docs especially for formatting. There's stuff you can do in Google Docs you cannot do in Gmail. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to zoom in so I can see it more easily. And let's say that I just want to do some standard formatting. Like uh, now this is normal text. Now I want to make it a heading two. So I just selected it and did that. Now here's something you cannot do in Gmail or you can't do it that easily. And that is to really change the fonts that you're using because Google Docs has far more fonts you can access than a standard Gmail client. So let's say that I want to use this cool looking uh, cursive font. So you can just see I converted that to cursive. I can change the font size very easily. Okay, maybe that's too big, so I'll reduce it to 18. Okay, I can do things like insert images. All right, one thing I could do is I could just paste them in. So I could go to this web page, and this is, the, this is one of our images. I'm going to copy the image, and I can just paste it right in there. To the Google Doc and then I can insert stuff that you can't usually insert into a Google Doc for instance a table so I'm going to press return and when I say insert it you can insert it into Google Doc you can't in, you can't easily do this in Gmail so this is really a time-saving thing if I can go to the very top of the doc here insert table select the dimensions I want so uh, two rows four columns and I can start putting stuff in there okay so this is really a very easy way to, to get going on making a, um, a very interesting looking Gmail using Google Docs. And once you're all done composing it this way and formatting it the way you want, then you just click on the little preview in Gmail icon at the very top of the screen. When you press that, it will open up a compose window in your Gmail program that you have open in the other tab and you can preview it before you send it. And look, all of the stuff that I just created in Google Docs has been brought into Gmail. So this is really a very cool way to make like Gmails that will blow away the recipient. If you really wanna do some high, high, high touch formatting and some special uh, inserts such as photos or tables or whatever. So I highly recommend you check this out. It's a cool feature for Gmail. It's relatively new. Uh, maybe other people haven't seen it, but once they see, once they get a Gmail like this, they'll really be blown away. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and follow me. If you go to our official website, in30minutes.com, we have a lot, lots more information about all the all the guides that we publish, including Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. This is Ian. Thank you so much for watching.